Hello and welcome to Autocar India Quick News where we give you all the updates on the latest news, the hot scoops and of course all those launches that happened this past week in the four and two wheeler space. This week though, let's start off with some somber news. The Society of Indian Automotive Manufacturers or CAM has just revealed the sales figures for April 2019 for the passenger vehicle and the two wheeler space and it's the lowest it's been in eight years. Let's have a look at those slightly worrying figures. The sale of passenger vehicles declined by 17.07% in April 2019 at 2,47,541 units as compared to 2,98,504 units in the same month last year. Within the passenger vehicles, the sale of passenger cars went down by 19.93%, utility vehicles were down 6.67% and vans declined by 30.11% in April 2019. Two wheelers registered a sales decline of 16.36% in April 2019 or April 2018. Within the two wheeler segment, scooter sales dropped by 25.89% and motorcycle sales dropped by 11.81%, while moped sales were down by 5.88% as compared to the same month last year. Now, this slump in sales has actually been attributed to weak buyer sentiment amidst the Lok Sabha polls that are currently ongoing. And due to the fact that fuel prices are high and in general in rural areas, there's a low availability of funds to actually buy a new car or a new two-wheeler for that matter. In tier 1 cities on the other hand, more and more people are actually considering shared mobility as an option as compared to actually going out and buying a car. But before we go any further, do remember to subscribe to the Autocar India YouTube channel and click on that bell icon to stay updated with all our latest uploads. Let's start with the car launches now and the all-new BMW X5. The fourth generation X5 has now officially been launched in India. So let's have a look at what it offers, the specs and of course those prices. The all-new X5 will be available with both petrol and diesel engines, badge the X-Drive 40i and the X-Drive 30d. The petrol engine is a 3-litre 6-cylinder motor that makes 340 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque, while the diesel is also a 3-litre 6-cylinder turbocharged engine that makes 265 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque, both compared to an 8-speed gearbox and all-wheel drive. Prices for the X5 begins at 72 lakh 90,000 rupees for the X Drive 30D Sport, while the X Drive 30D X line is priced at 82 lakh 40,000 rupees. The petrol is available in only one X Drive 40i M Sport variant and is priced at 82 lakh 40,000 rupees. While the diesel variants will be available immediately at dealers, the petrol models will come later in 2019. On to two wheels now and it's two brand new scooters from Hero Moto Corp. It's the Maestro Edge 125 and the 110 cc. Pleasure Plus. First up, the Maestro. The new scooter gets a 125cc engine from the Destiny and is available with both a carbureted or a fuel injected version. The carb variant makes 8.83 horsepower and 10.2 newton meters of torque, while the fuel injected version makes 9.2 horsepower and 10.2 newton meters of torque. In fact, this is the first scooter in the country to get fuel injection. The Maestro Edge 125 will be available in three variants, a carbureted drum brake priced at 58,500 rupees, a carbureted disc brake variant priced at 60,000 rupees and a fuel injected version priced at 62,700 rupees. And now the Pleasure Plus. The scooter gets a 110.9cc engine that makes 8.1 horsepower and 8.7 newton meters of torque. The scooter gets a major redesign in terms of visual updates and now features a retro design language with new elements all around. The Hero Pleasure Plus is priced at 47,300 rupees for the standard wheel version and 49,300 rupees for the alloy wheel variant. While the original Pleasure was a scooter that was targeted mainly towards women, Hero Motor Corp has made a conscious decision to make this a more unisex scooter. The updates on motorcycles getting them in line with government regulations in terms of safety and braking continues and this week the Bajaj Avenger 160 gets ABS. Let's have a quick look at what the prices are and of course what tech it offers. Priced at 82,253 rupees, the new Bajaj Avenger now gets single channel ABS. The bike also replaces the Avenger 180 that was never updated with ABS and is available in two paint options, spicy red and ebony black. The engine is a 160.4cc motor, making 15 horsepower and 13.5 newton meters of torque. While the commuter bikes rule the roost in terms of sales figures, it's the adventure bike segment that's really, really catching the fancy of many riders across the country, especially in those higher capacity segments. Now, BMW has had the F850 GS on sale for quite a while in India now, and now there's a more hardcore version of that bike that's been launched. It's the F850 GS Adventure. 
Let's have a look at the prices and let's have a look at what extra you get as compared to the standard bike. The BMW F850 GS Adventure is priced at 15 lakh 40 thousand rupees ex showroom, 2 lakh 45 thousand rupees more than the standard bike, and is only available in the Style Rally package with the signature BMW blue and white color scheme, larger windshield, and a golden finish on the rim outline and the upper tube on the front. There is also a bigger tank, added crash protection, and a slightly taller seat along with adjustable rear brake and gear levers, a bash plate, knuckle guards, and an adjustable windscreen. In India, the F850 GS Adventure gets the 853cc engine, making 90 horsepower and 86 Newton meters of torque. Now, that is certainly a very, very capable piece of kit right there. Now, usually on our news segments, we bring you a bike that's just been launched or updated, and normally it tends to be a little more expensive than its predecessors. And we seldom bring you a piece of news about a bike that's had a price cut. This week though, we have not one but two bikes that have received a price cut. It's the Benelli TNT 300 and the Benelli 302R, both of which are now cheaper. Benelli announced that the naked TNT 300 now costs 2 lakh 99,000 rupees, a price reduction of a little over 50,000 rupees from the previous 3 lakh 50,000 rupees. Similarly, the price of the fully fared 302R has gone from 3 lakh 70,000 rupees to 3 lakh 10,000 rupees. Both motorcycles are powered by the same 300cc inline twin cylinder engine that makes 38.8 horsepower and peak torque of 26.5 Newton meters. So that's all the launches done for this week, but there was that one big unveil that happened in India this week that has dominated all our bandwidth on the internet, on our website, and of course, all those massive views on our YouTube channel. Yes, I am talking about the MG Hector, which was officially revealed in India earlier this week. Let's have a quick look at this brand new SUV. The MG Hector is a big, brutish SUV that features an in-your-face chrome and case grill, LED headlamps, blacked out pillars, a panoramic sunroof and a cool rear end with LED tail lamps. While the wheels and tyres might be a bit too small, the overall stance of the SUV is certainly one that will be well received in India. On the inside, the 5-seater Hector is generally well built and the amount of space in the front and the rear seats is very good. It also has a large 587-litre boot. The Hector also gets a large vertically mounted 10.4-inch touchscreen infotainment system with voice commands and a bunch of preloaded apps like TomTom Tom Navigation and the Ghana Music app along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Hector also gets the iSmart connectivity package with an app which allows you to control certain features remotely. Engine options will include a 2-litre diesel and a 1.5-litre turbo petrol with or without the 48-volt mile hybrid system. The Hector will be launched in June and expect a price tag of 15 to 20 lakh rupees, taking on the likes of the Tata Harrier and the Mahindra XUV 500. For a more detailed look at the Hector, check out our walkabout and first look video on our YouTube channel. But that's not all with the MG Hector. We can officially now tell you that there is a seven-seater version of the SUV that's coming next year. And it's been confirmed by the managing director of MG Motor India himself. Let's take a look. So you just so, conf confirmed a seven-seater for Hector. So, yeah, I think I would like to say, yes, yeah, seven-seater and eight-seater. Though, you know, uh, technically we can't call it seven and eight because of certain uh, dimensions. But right. uh, You'll about, have a third uh, row of seats. Uh, third row of seats. We'll have a third when row of seats. When can we expect that? Uh, so that should happen uh, with BS6. Right. Now, there's a bit of an SUV theme going on this week on the general news section. And from one new automaker and their new SUV to another, Kia has just launched some first sketches of their upcoming SUV. Let's have a look at those. The Kia SP concept-based SUV will be showcased for the first time in India on June 20th, 2019 and might be called the Trailster. As seen from the sketches, the SUV looks pretty much true to its concept form with that tiger nose Kia grille, LED headlamps with daytime running lights that stretch towards the center and an overall chunky design language. The SUV will also feature skid plates at the front and the rear and LED tail lamps. Engines will include a 1.5-litre petrol and diesel with automatic or manual gearbox options. And the SUV news just keeps on coming. Some upcoming Mahindra SUVs have been spied recently, including that next generation Scorpio. Let's have a quick look. This is one of the first shots of the upcoming SUV and showcases the upright design that the next gen car will carry. The SUV is also stated to get a brand new interior. The new Scorpio is expected to break cover at the 2020 Indian Auto Expo and will share its underpinnings with the next generation Thar 
both of which will get a new BS6 compliant 2 litre diesel engine. And talking about that 2 litre engine, the Mahindra XUV500 was also spotted this week testing that 2 litre motor. The engine will be available in three stages of tune, with the most powerful version making up to 185 horsepower. Time to move from four wheels on to two now, and there's a very interesting bit of news from Royal Enfield. The bike maker has applied for a trademark to the Royal Enfield Meteor name to be used on motorcycles, parts, and clothing. This could also mean a new parallel twin model that could be based on the KX Bobber, which was recently showcased, or a more feature-filled version of the Interceptor, similar to the likes of the Triumph Street Twin. Incidentally, the name Meteor and Super Meteor have already been used by Royal Enfield in the past. And that's all the time we have for you this week. Do remember, as always, to tell us what you thought about all those new launches and all those upcoming cars in the comment section below. And we'll see you right here next week. Thank you so much for watching.